progressing deeper into the Delta Labs complex here. UAC Biological Research. I was just about to say how long before we get ambushed here, right? Let's start. Something like that, maybe. It's clear here. Let's go this way first. Seems the... Nice try. I heard a whisper here coming from the elevator shaft. We're deep, deep underground. How many of these are actually floors though? That's the question. Jesus. That's one of the most hellish noises yet. Oh god. I was so ready for an ambush though. Oh my god. Hello. Zombies. Which way do we want to go here? Damn it, that medicate noise scared me. No, this seems a, a more involved route forwards. Where are we right now? Level 2 archives. Let's hang off that for just a moment. Restroom, okay. Now, I think earlier on I said there's a pinky in one of these bathrooms, didn't I? Maybe this mirror. Somebody just spawned in. Can't see you. Feels like charging directly at them adds momentum to your shotgun shells. Spooky. Anyone gonna jump scare me here? No, okay. Not a nice sounding room. There wasn't even any pickups in there. Right, let's stop hanging about here and actually get some progress. Make some progress even. The further into this game we go, the less abundant ammo is becoming and the less well suited our shotgun is becoming. I'm just strong sense it. Okay, it's just you. Oh, okay, I got me. Oh, double hit. Triple hit. Four. <laughs> 36 health, we don't need any more than that. here. PDA, I would quite like that. I can see some cells there too. Nope. Where's that going to be? Here. Somewhere. I have to play careful here because I've lost some health. That commando took a, a whole sequence of hits. I'll go away, Petruga. Ah, got you! Absolute bastard. I'm not ready for this. Dead here. Ah. Right, let's turn off caps lock and open on a PDA here. Right, just as well I didn't bring it up when I was getting attacked there. Observation of science personnel. This is the audio log of medical Catch my breath there a bit. Peter Raleigh, dated October 29th, 2145. We have exhausted all known forms of drug treatment in hopes of finding a way to abate this strange outbreak of dementia, and I have yet to receive any additional data from the psychiatrists back on Earth. Options are quickly dwindling. 
Approximately 80% of all extraplanar participants exhibit signs of mild neuroses within the first 48 hours after returning from their expeditions. Within 72 hours, 75% of patients exhibit extreme signs of paranoid delusion and violence. We have isolated these cases in hopes of finding the pathogen. As yet, we can find no biological contaminants that would lead to such drastic changes in cognitive processing. It seems that whatever this pathogen is, it attacks higher brain functions and only leaves more basal functions in the lower brain stem. We've witnessed that a high percentage of subjects lose ability for rational thought and communication skills, and then the physical changes become evident. Subjects in this group appear to atrophy. Skin pales, muscles become slack, bone, teeth, and fingernails become almost translucent, veiny sinews of their former selves. I have never seen anything like this in my career. Our observations continue. Do you say basil or basil? Uh, that voice actor there, very different from all the other ones, I don't know. He just has a distinct sound to him, I feel like I recognize him from somewhere. Death of Steve Jensen. This is the audio log of medical supervisor Peter Raleigh, dated November 1st, 2145. Patient 0432, a private Steve Jensen of the UAC Darklight Armor Corps Division, expired today at 1543 of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. This is approximately 110 hours after his return from expeditionary missions. Private Jensen was suffering from paranoid delusions and full-blown dementia. Treatment was unsuccessful. He was the last surviving member of his outfit. Four other squad mates, who also came back with Private Jensen, expired from injuries suffered on that last mission shortly after their return. Before his death, Private Jensen was heard screaming in both English and other languages. Something about demon hordes feasting on our souls. The other language was later discovered to be Aramaic. Due to security concerns in the area, I've secured some armaments within my office. Okay, but what's the code for those armaments? I would like to know. What's Aramaic as well? I need to Google that. Some sort of uh, ancient language. What are these expeditions? Where are they going? Is this to the site 1, 2, and 3 we've heard mentioned? Ben Peterson, antipsychotics shipment in today. Dr. Riley, just a reminder to let you know your order of antipsychotics have arrived from pharmaceuticals. There are quite a few large boxes here and we are a bit short-handed at the moment. If you could have someone from your department come and retrieve these packages, it would be much appreciated. Overburdened. Dr. Raleigh, we are filling up the available infirmary beds faster than we can get patients released. I don't see myself releasing any at all, actually. I'm gravely concerned about where we expect to put more men if the current trend in testing isn't relaxed before we can determine the cause of this psychosis. Sincerely, Medical Technician Phil Wilson. Is that a, a name we've heard before? Uh, not in any of these. Maybe in an email somewhere. Uh, 13 health here. Let's make a save. Yep, thank you. Hello, health kit. I need one. Spot me some health. There are some cells. Let's also, hang on, let's just check our guns. You're loaded. Let's have the biggest guns up front here. Was it 298? No, we've already been to that one. We don't know. He never said. He just said they're secured. I might need to return to this one. Oh, thank God. Perfect. 96. Uh, yeah, I might need to return to this one. Okay, I think I got away with that near death there. Making progress, Marie. Your journey is futile. You will die, and your soul die. for a mistake. How are you alive? Well, I managed to kill two of them, but, um, yeah, I would have been better off. 
Where are we right now? Central corridor. Well, that doesn't really explain what I'm looking at, does it? Delta Labs, Sector 2, Personnel, Records and Storage. Security Office and Research Labs in Sector 3, okay. Look at the blood here. I guess we're going straight ahead, Sector 4. I grab that, I saw a chain gun just there. Ammo belt as well, that's good. Let's um, check our ammo for this, loads, let's use it. Nowhere to retreat here if I get cornered by something. Test chamber one or observation room. Let's go to the test chamber. They're waiting for you, Gordon, in the test chamber. That's a marine there. there. Oh, thank God. You're not one of them. I thought everyone else was gone. I... I was part of this. I helped them. The madness of opening to another dimension. Look, I, I don't... We don't have much time. We let it through. The evil. The protective stabilizer on the portal just failed after Petruger took the device. It, it was an artifact we had found in the ruins. He took it into the portal. And Hal followed him out. You have to help me first. I'm going to try to get the teleporter systems running again. The areas are destroyed around us, so it's the only way through this part of the complex. You need to find me a working plasma inducer. It's all I need to get the teleporter working. You can look for it in operations. I have a security clearance. I'll unlock some doors for you. There. We don't have a lot of time. Please hurry. What a miracle to find a survivor after all this time. What do we got here? A lot of screens. Let's have a look at them. Interference suppression filter. Decoherence model active, operating at 89% efficiency. Microscopic synchronization. Plasma conduit one monitor. Monitor uh, conduit two monitor. Control station one single target beam. Unable to acquire targeting data. Primarily targeted. Is that a map of the complex here on the left? I don't recognize any of this. Receiving pad error. EPR source control offline. Teleporter unable to acquire target. Teleporters here. I almost hit this guy with a flashlight. Uh, error detected in plasma conduit two. So that area on the right, we can actually see it's highlighted there. Replace plasma inducer before initiating teleporter. Oh, okay, it's it's this thing here. So here is the plasma conduit. This one's been removed. Um, what do we got? Data logging on. Yada 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 yada. Okay, we have a couple of things here, including a pistol. Oh, hang on. I thought that was going to be a CD we were going to get, but maybe not. We have here, though, this screen, uh, same monitor that Petruga was looking at right back at the start. So this was a report uh, filed just one day ago. Artifact ID U1. Discovered in Caverns Archaeological Dig Site 3. Research report filed yesterday. Let's check that out. Need to know what we're dealing with here. Uh, I need to find my own personal details. Personal emails. Research archive, the Soul Cube. Report filed by Ian McCormack. That's the guy we were just talking to. I've been working on the Soul Cube for a few weeks now. It is a fascinating artifact, and as it turns out, it has some amazing properties. I wrote a new glyph pattern query yesterday and let it run all night. With the new query, the linguistics computer finally cracked the remaining glyphs. The Soul Cube is by every definition a weapon, and it seems to have been built to repel whatever type of creatures invaded this ancient culture. If I'm reading them right, during a battle the cube gains power with each life the wielder takes. When it is fully charged, it can be used to slay even the strongest of creatures. Even more impressive is that when it kills a creature, it transfers that creature's life ba uh, force back to who is using the cube. I know this sounds like magic and I have not been able to activate it to prove the theory, but this is what the glyphs illustrate. How's it going to prove it? Kill somebody. Uh, the glyphs specifically point out that you must kill five creatures before it becomes charged, and then amazingly, it will tell you it is ready. It is almost like a sentient being. Uh, being. This object is a fantastic find. Ian McCormick. Interesting. Right, so we've got a health station over here that we actually need because we're a bit of a fool in how we've been playing recently. This is... No, no, I want to go... Decontamination complete. Have a nice day. You know what? We'll return later on. A lot of things just here. A 
unable to lock on to destination. Okay, so this is a teleporter here, but we are unable to use it at present. Someone observing a test there. Decontamination back. Done. Warm liquid goo phase on the commencing. Decontamination complete. Have a nice day. Okay. Right. Let's get out of here. Better lock that door behind you. He's not even hidden there. That's all plus. Okay, I guess we're going backwards then. Damn it. Get out of here. No, I'm stuck. risks here. It's just getting out of hand. Is he in the room with me? There he is. He's dead now. I have almost no ammo for that. The chain gun was not helping me very much there, I've got to be honest. Right, I guess we are going... That's Sector 3, so let's check out Sector 2 first. As soon as I satisfy myself that there's no one behind us. No, oh, you don't. Damn it. Bloody crate there, caught on the edge of it. These are two very different directions here. Let's stick to left, that looks preferable. Much weaker than the chain gun ones. I managed to actually gain a little bit of health though. It's crucial. Don't get stuck. Elevated. Thought I had something above me though. I guess we're getting up there from going this way. I gained a little health though. Worth it. Steve Roscoe. I feel like there's just something coming from behind me. Hooper. Matt Hooper. Mal Blackwell. All these people met unfortunate ends, it would seem. PDA. Frank Cinders. Let's check this out here. Says report. As requested, the following is my initial feedback on my first trip through the portal. Private First Class Frank Cinder stated October 15, 2145. I, uh, I don't know exactly where to begin. Obviously, I survived the first trip and feel no worse for wear. I, I'm not feeling any of the symptoms reported by the others who have gone in before me, but I'm at a point where I'm still trying to process everything. Thankfully, the place looks deserted and devoid of any life, but, uh, flames and heat and stench of the place, it, it smells of death, decay, and burnt flesh. Tomorrow, we're going back in with some of the egg heads, uh, science division, to start securing forward positions, and we expect to start sending out the mapping droids at the same time. Cinders, 
that's the case of just because you could doesn't mean you should. Uh, Guy Harrelson, your lunch. Oh, what just happened there? Oh, okay, we've got to, um, two messages here. Um, a clava b uh, bake oven on sale now. Oven. Why did I read that so weird? Tired of the same old, same old when it comes to snacking. Store bought treats getting you down. Then you need the new Martian Buddy little baklava oven. Uh, you heard right, baklava. Uh, or maybe like ba baklava? Baklava. How many times have you said, mmm boy, <laughs> what's this? <laughs> I could really go for some scrumptious baklava right now. Well, now it's quick and easy anytime. Come to Martian Buddy for in info on the new Martian Buddy little baklava oven and hundreds of other great products. Remember, Martian Buddy is your buddy. Your lunch. Hey Frank, you left your lunch on my desk again. I put it in storage cabinet number 112, the combination 538. Try to remember to pick it up. The last time you forgot, it was in there for a week. That stuff stunk to high heaven. What the hell do you, you got in there? Uh, 538. Right, who else is going to spawn behind us here while we we'll return to go and get this locker? Come on, give me that jump scare. It's in this room. How do I get this? Like so. Good. Oh, and now we're in a situation where we literally can't get out of here. This way. Five, three, two. This is lunch. All right, whatever. On the way back, maybe. No, hang on, that's not what I want. Random shells from somewhere there. Are you alive? Oh, I don't think you are. Oh, no. You're not alive. Christian and Cal, and there's somebody else in there, so who knows which one's which. I think these were all the marines that have returned from these so-called expeditions. Oof, I don't think you're a marine. Je no, it looks like he's always got in and started eating them all. Jerry Keenan, operations uh, tech status in. Hang on a second, have I missed some? Operations tech status relocated. Relocated in. Relocated. Okay. I feel like I've. Go to the sector security and terminate the black. Oh my god, after all this. Why is it so dark here now? slowed down my gameplay here, I'm not sure. I just constantly have a, a sense of somebody coming up behind me. I don't know what it is. Yeah, hello guys. Okay, so this room is flooded, flooded? Flooded with deadly neurotoxin. Let's grab these things. A little bit of health there too. What have we got? Okay, right, we ain't getting into this room, let me see. Did I see... No. We're going this way. Oh, okay, lovely. Bio labs. The hell are we gonna find in here? Hello, zombie. Just one guy, okay. Okay, it's not one guy anymore. Oh, I can't see you. You're there somewhere. This game has a, a, a great way of just building your paranoia and checking behind you there. It's just as well I did that time because there was somebody coming. A few clips. Oh man, that face. 
Who needs faces? Yep. If this was early game, that would have got me, but not anymore. That definitely means I'm about to get jumped by something. Who's opening and closing doors behind me? There's something here. Stop it, stop it. Who's here? Get me out of this corridor. Stop it. God damn it, this is... I'm losing my mind here. I'm hearing footsteps through walls. This, oh god, there was something behind me the whole time. I heard the name Jensen's. This is one of the PDAs we had. Reference interview G8A, Private Steve Jensen, October 18, 2145. UAC psychologist Dr. Hooper interviewing Steve Jensen, male, age 27. <clears throat> Steve, can you talk to me about the last few weeks, please? I don't want to talk. Well, I'm here to help you, Steve. I've tried talking. They think I'm crazy. You think I'm crazy. They, your colleagues, are doctors. Let me help you. Help me. Nothing can help us. Prior sessions over a period of 72 hours. Physical and mental capacity with behavior inconsistent with any known patterns. The patient was responsive for brief periods and had to be restrained during interviews. Reference interview H-3-2, Private Steve Jensen, October 21st, 2145. Tell me what you see, Steve. I don't want to see it anymore. I don't want to feel it. <laughs> They'll be here soon. And then you'll see it. Can you talk about what you see? <laughs> Steve? Patient unresponsive. Terminating interview. We have exhausted all known forms of drug treatment in hopes of finding a way to abate this strange outbreak of dementia. And I have yet to receive any... It ends. That was rather sudden. I heard the door open behind me there. I don't know what that was. October reports. Okay, what have we got? Can I read, listen to all these? What's the dates here? Okay, we sent the first batch of volunteers through the teleporter today. Subjects were administered a mild anesthesia to put them under for a duration of the experiment. They reported no side effects when awakened. The only reported injury was subject 7 who had several lacerations after recombination on the receiving pad. We have speculated that they were somehow self-inflicted during matter transference, but are unable to fully explain how physical damage could be administered during an instantaneous transfer. Got some deep lore here. Okay, so this is the 12th, two weeks later. Research subjects have become increasingly delusional. An interesting pattern has emerged in recent psych evaluations. All subjects are reporting supernatural experiences. While common enough as schizophrenic manifestation, I have never seen the same psychosis affect all subjects in a controlled test group. Recommend uh, occipital probes to uh, check for growths or swelling. Uh, applied pressure in this region might explain the mass hallucinations. Again, I suggest halting experimentation on these subjects till we discover what is affecting them. Are these willing subjects here? Jameson cleared the order for holding the test subject pending a detailed psych uh, physical analysis. I uploaded a request for new volunteers, so we should have a few new transfers that are looking for free credits. I'm copying Sandra on this log entry. Be sure and check all potential candidates for immediate family or local social ties. Make sure they won't be missed. Corporate does not want to deal with any more litigations. Jesus, okay. They knew that the experiments they were conducting then were having damaging sounds of, uh, side effects on these people. 2nd of November. Test subject 4 attacked an inspector today. I want to know who is responsible for letting that into the uh, letting them into the wreck area, especially when it was known that non-UAC personnel were coming through today. The last thing we needed was another accident. Petruga assured me that no report would be filed, but until we block these inspectors from uh, entering secure areas, we risk exposure. We have retired number four and moved the remaining subjects into the empty Sector 2 offices for closer observation. So I guess that's where we were earlier on. Retired number four. Interesting phrasing there. Nine days later. 
Uh, the research is supposed to continue to deteriorate mentally. I have requested a security guard on site. I'm beginning to question my own safety working in close proximity to them. Test subject 8 never stops screaming. I have informed the guard that officers occupied by the subjects are to be locked at all times. I asked Dr. Borowski to place some military supplies in the security room locker. If things get out of hand, I want to be able to uh, be ready. I think we heard that PDA, didn't we? We escorted number 8 to the medical lab after further instances of self-mutilation. I have cleared him for final research and disposal. He is no longer useful as a data subject. Testing for today has been halted due to increased power fluctuations. This was the this was today. This was this morning. Um halted due to increased power fluctuations, however, Ian thinks he can bypass the fail-safes to boost our throughput, giving us the necessary power to move ahead with the final phase of test 11. He's currently working on the problem in MC routing. I'm going to have security to seal this area until testing can continue. Okay. Not good. Um, let's move on. I spotted these at the end of the room earlier as well. These are perhaps some of the biological specimens we saw. Bits of imps. What's interesting, I don't know if I can read anything into that, is that usually the imps kind of vanish and kind of hellish flame. Oh, come on, you're... Ah. Like this. That guy there, he, he knew exactly what he was doing, holding onto that fireball. He knew I was just, I don't know, trying to time my movements. That was a awful noise. Oh. <laughs> okay. Nope. Oh, okay. Get me there. Oh, did I see eyes out? No, it was armor shards for fine. <laughs> Alive. What? What the? hell is that? Okay, okay. Let us, um... Let us do something here. Stop! Where was that? Two of you. Yeah, not that time. Yeah, we are getting through there. Okay, we've got to do something to get up there, I think. So, there's nothing in 6 and 8. So what are in the other ones? If I run round here, step on this platform. What have we got? Good God. Okay. Is there another I has a crate. How do I progress from here then? Okay, we're gonna try this again. This time though, I'm not gonna try and jump from here, I'm gonna ride the box. Do not drop me. Got ya. Right, okay. And I only fell once. What was that? Oh, it was nothing. No. Where'd that body go? grenade there but they spotted me yes enter access code I remember this one how could you forget it here we are oh it's beautiful 
Uh, any PDAs here or anything? Oh, hang on. Something awful is about to spawn in here, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Simple as that. It's ours, boys. Yes, okay. Report, um, filling station, filing station. It's this last report here. Dr. Riley requested military supplies placed in a storage locker in case of emergency. A security team member delivered the supplies today and secured them in locker 116. The code was set to 972. Okay. Back then. Just the same thing. Yeah, okay, I think it's both all the same here. Brasky is a name we already have. Okay, one one no, nine nine seven two. Did we already use that one? I don't think we did. There was no, okay, there's my answer. There was an open locker, but I'm guessing that was the one that we didn't have a code for. What the hell what was this? BFG cell. Okay, wonderful. Um That must have been the open weapons locker we saw when we first came into this area. How much ammo have I got for this? Right. Activate oxygen purge. Halo system. Offline. A lot of armor around here. What do we got? Right. Delta lamps to access. Sector 2, doors control, general access, security override initiated remotely by user B. Smith. Sector 3, doors open. Uh, Delta 2. Unlock offices. Come on, you are shot twice there. I just feel like there's a pinky through one of these doors or something. Are these doors open? They're unlocked. EDA. Someone tried to barricade themselves in here. PDA before we progress. Uh, Dr. Pitarelli, patient workload. Phil, I'm going to need you to help me next week with my work. I've got so many files and reports to enter into the computer that I don't have time to actually see my patients. I will box up some of my paperwork and send it over to you. If you could enter the reports into the computer, that would surely help me. Thanks. Volunteers. Audio log for Phil Wilson, medical technician, Delta Labs, October 20th, 2145. Today, I witnessed the third test of the teleporter in the three weeks that I've been here. Volunteers are becoming harder and harder to come by, and it isn't difficult to see why. They all come back screaming like loons about demons, pools of blood. I mean, it's real fire and brimstone stuff. At first, I wasn't paying much attention, just doing my job, but the last was Robert Clayton. Now, I met him my first day here. 
This guy chews up rocks and spits out gravel. He's tough as they come. Having to sedate him and drag his drooling body to the isolation room, it's really freaked me out. I'm going to put him for a transfer as soon as I'm able. Okay, don't blame him. Storage archives. Here we go. A lot of zombies in this area. Where are you? What have you seen over there? Okay, so you want me... Ah, that's why. Alright, oh, you got friends. Let's get together here. I was thinking, I was about to say, he wants me to pursue him and expose my back to somebody here, but it wasn't quite. So many zombies. Got it. What's this one here? I don't recognize this number. No. Another open one there. What was that? Breath, I heard. Look, it's mine. Oh, come on, what? He didn't even swing at me, just instantaneous damage. Okay, that's why the lift wasn't working, I guess. I see some armor shards on the roof down there. Not gonna need them. That is really cool. If that is genuinely what was stopping it moving and not just scripted to not work, that's amazing. What have I missed? I've missed a PDA or something. I might have to return here. Let's make a save. I'm back here, guys, because for whatever reason, my uh, game crashed just then. So, since I had to reload anyway, I thought I would go and check out and see if I missed or where I might have missed the PDA. And as it transpired, this is really how uh, well hidden this one. The code is just here on the site, 715. So, uh, since we're here, we'll grab it. What do we got? Backpack, armor, and a clip. Okay, we've got a few. Uh, pickups there. I can reload this. Gonna need it in a second. That's got an absolute ton of ammo. Let's try and use some of that machine gun. That's pretty well stocked as well. So it's bazooka. Oh my god, okay. We've gone from like a, an ammo deficit to a massive surplus. Right, hello guys. Should have been. Damn it. Damn it. Grab these while we're here. Oh, hang on, no, I'm not gonna get stuck. Come on, let me on this. Oh my god, these chairs defeated me. There we go. Right, fingers crossed I won't. Uh, die this time and I can make some progress. Excellent. Now we'll get the teleporter working again. And you don't have much time. You're going to need to teleport across the containment chamber. It's the only way through this part of the complex. Head into the chamber and initiate the sequence on the machine. I'll take care of the rest. I'm not going with you. Good luck, but before you go, I want you to take something. It's a journal I made about the experiments. Uh, those things. It's all there. It'll explain everything. Get it to someone so this never happens again. Okay, okay, guys, let's make some progress here. We'll check our new disk in just a second. Decontamination process is done. Right, hopefully the game won't crash this time. Decontamination complete. I'm through. Have a nice day. I will do. Right, let's uh, listen to our report here. Phil Wilson. Uh, no, hang on. It is in video discs. Here we go. My name is Ian McCormick. I'm a researcher. 
research specialist stationed on Mars, working for the UAC. My primary job is, or rather was, to assist Dr. Malcolm the Trooper in a variety of experiments, though for the past year we've been focusing almost exclusively on teleportation. I don't know if I'll make it out of here alive, so I'm recording this video a lot to let someone know what happened. And with that knowledge, prevent it from happening again. Initially, the teleportation experiments were amazing. We're creating a new science, the prospect of it changing our way of life were, well, they were outstanding. I was proud to be associated with such an amazing project and someone as talented as Dr. Petrucker. He noticed early on, well, probably before we had completed maybe a dozen successful tests, that there was a variable delay during the teleportation. The objects were broken down at the quantum level, transported, and then assembled. Each stage of the process should have been instantaneous, but it, it wasn't. And we didn't know why. We sent a video drone through when we were shocked at the images and sent back. Just a few frames of video right before the drone came back we were showed me what appeared to be several sets of eyes looking directly at the drone. We had just found a living looking creature that was not human. The trooper immediately set out a request for volunteers. He specifically wanted UAC security force members because he wanted to capture one of these creatures. I made a lot of mistakes, but I am most ashamed of my involvement during the next phase. To get medical clearance to send human subjects through the device, I, I doctored up several of our reports to indicate that we had performed living tissue experiments. I did not regret it at the time. A few days later, when our third test subject came back, he was chewing off his own fingers. started sending teams in about once every two days. Teams were reporting nightmarish experiences, signs of things that ultimately made us look cool, that the other dimension was not just another dimension. It was hell. The creatures were bringing back demons. And then the trooper, he went through the portal himself. I don't know what he was thinking. It was an unscheduled trip. He, he just went, and we couldn't stop him. Right, so we've got one more thing to check here. At BFG 9000, this prototype, fi prototype fires a threaded variable energy charge. UAC technicians have warned of stability issues at full power. Okay, I haven't used it yet, but I need to find something to fire it at. It sounds then like perhaps Petrugo wasn't even always this kind of psychopathic person, perhaps just a guy pushed to get results to try and succeed where others had failed and then was corrupted after going through the teleporter himself, though obviously he was always of dubious morality sending other people through in something that obviously wasn't safe. Activate teleporter sequence, I think this is it. Let's go, primary receiving pad A. Let's find out where we're gonna go. Systems activated. Teleportation is now 